And guys, when I give you, uh, don't take any of it personal when I give you guys advice. It's just, it's not always going to pertain to your exact situation. So, um, just hear my heart when I'm talking and I'm asking the Lord for wisdom and I'm praying that God would give me words of wisdom, words of knowledge. And I wouldn't just be saying what I feel, but I would be leading people in the right direction to what God wants them to do. And, and I'm praying the Holy Spirit would speak through me. When I get up and preach, like, Lord, speak through me. That's the goal. So I'm praying today I could be a, a voice, a voice of God to you. I could, God can speak through me and I could help you and the Lord can use this call to whatever, bring you to truth and keep you on that narrow road. Okay, let's take the next caller here. Thank you so much for calling in. Please let me know your name and where you're calling in from. Thank you so much for calling in. Please let me know your name and where you're calling from. Hello. How are you? Hi, I'm there. Oh my God, I'm on. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, can you hear me okay? Yeah, you were earlier, you were kind of fuzzy, but now you're coming in clear. Okay. Hi, my name is Keisha. I'm from Missouri. Um, okay, earlier this year, I started having, um, like, a, I don't know what to call it, like, um, how do you explain when you start experiencing like paranormal stuff? Just like spiritual experiences? Yeah, it, it was the experience um, that I had with a, a family member in my home that started on these manifestations of evil things. Um, I started having dreams, bad dreams every day. Um, I started, just recently started like voices I started hearing and um, You've been really keeping me a terror. You and other uh, people I've watched over time um, give advice online on what you should do. And I've been fasting and praying and worshiping and um, recently connected with somebody on your map. Okay. Um, I guess my question is, um, what what can I do to uh, really play the dreams? Like, how do you how do you stop dreams like that? that are like demonic attacks or yes yes like demonic attacks i mean honestly some of the best things to do if you're getting attacked a lot at night is to play the audio bible i had a time where years ago i felt like i kept getting attacked like nightmares and just anxiety at night all these type of things and i just for a few nights played the audio bible and it helped a lot playing audio bible playing yeah. worship music low making sure before you go to bed that you're pleading the blood of jesus and even just praying not just saying, you know, Lord, yeah. I pray nobody breaks into my house while I'm sleeping tonight. You know, not like the two minute prayer, which is great. You, you, you should do that right. too. But doing like a five, 10, 15 minute prayer session before bed, or even as you're falling asleep, just like praying yourself to sleep. Those are all ways that I found are effective to okay. basically not having these nonstop attacks at night. And there's also a bunch of verses that talk about like the Lord giving us sweet sleep and sweet rest. So you can quote those verses. You can yeah. uh, put on the armor of God before bed. I mean, if you're getting attacked, you you have to go, okay, I'm at war. Something's attacking me. Something's yeah. invading. Like, if somebody breaks in my house every night, I'm not just going to sit there and say, oh, well, I'm just going to let them keep breaking in. No, I need to put up safeguards. I need to lock the doors. I need to, you know, be on the defense. Mm -hmm. I need to actually do something because I keep getting attacked. I keep getting, a thief keeps breaking in. So I would say yeah. in that same way, somewhere... Oh. There's some inroad the enemy has. And so realizing that and saying, okay, why am I getting attacked? And it could be practical. It might not, it might not even be super spiritual. And when I say practical, it could be what you're watching before bed, right? Some people, like I've had people say, man, I'm having nightmares and I'm having bad dreams. And, I, and I've, like, I've talked to these people in person and one guy said, okay, what are your dreams of? Oh, I'm having dreams of me like killing people and I, like all this really crazy stuff. And then I said, okay, are you watching shows before bed? Are you watching movies? He's like, well, I watch, you know, like a lot of like crime documentaries and first 48 hours and, and these shows. And I, I'm not, I'm not saying those shows are bad or whatever show it is, but I'm like, bro, you're watching shows about people murdering people. And then, you know, the detectives are coming in, figuring it out. I know it's interesting, 
but you're having dreams of murdering people. It's probably not a demon. It's probably that your brain is taking in murder for the last hour before you go to sleep. So there's also stuff like that that's practical mm -hmm. that we might realize. Like, I would even say get off social media for like an hour before you go to bed. Don't be on social media if you're having attacks or dreams. Just trying to really start to think, okay, where is this getting in? Why do I keep having this happen? And then lastly, it could be that you might need some deliverance. Like, I know you said you're, you talked to someone on the map. Uh, it could be that you have you need deliverance and there's something there in you that has access to you and that night it wreaks havoc in you. So that's something common as well. When people go through deliverance, they say like, oh, the nightmare stopped. I had so many nightmares. And then once I went through deliverance, it stopped. So th that that's another thing to think about. But of course, everybody's different. You know, none of those might apply to you. They all might apply to you. You just have to really pray and ask the Lord, you know, what's going on. Yeah, I'm supposed to be meeting with them pretty soon, but um, the, I, for the past couple of months, it, it, I've been serious this a couple of months, and pretty much ever since then, I have my worship music on the TV playing nonstop. I have my audio book, uh, audio Bible playing nonstop, and it just it's like dreams of dead relatives. My mom passed back in 2017. I just just last night, I just had a dream of her. Um, like one time I had a dream of her and I said, um, it must be the uh, spirit of torment because something was like messing with her in the dream. And mm. I said the spirit of torment. And then let me see, just last night, uh, the dream I had her, I said, um, he said something about not waking up or something like that. And I said, no, don't say that, you know, your words are powerful. So I've been having like little dreams like that. Now, is your is your mother still alive? No, she passed in 2017. In 2017, okay. Yeah, I mean, that is definitely interesting. Like I said, the, the thing about dreams is it, it's hard to say, you know, what source they're from. It's hard to say, like, is this the devil? Is this uh, just my human spirit? Because you, you can have dreams from your human spirit. It doesn't have to be God. It doesn't have to be the devil. Your human spirit can have dreams. You know, you might have a random dream and go, what in the world is that? So that could not just be the Lord giving you the dream or the devil. It could be your human spirit. So it is a bit tricky. I, I'm not quick to say that's where the dream's from. That's why. Because we're also human and we're in a normal world and we, every day we experience things. So it could be a bit of both. You know, it doesn't have to necessarily be a demon. It doesn't have to necessarily be God. It could also just be your human spirit, maybe having memories of your mom or thinking about your mom. And then here you are having dreams about her. And sometimes we spiritualize every single dream but the reality is not every single dream has some spiritual meaning. Not every single dream is either an attack from the devil or, or revelation from God. We see God meeting people in dreams throughout the Bible, but it's definitely not biblical to say every single dream is from God or from the devil because it's just not the case. As humans, dreaming is just part of the human psyche. And so you might just be having dreams, you know, and going like, okay, well, I'm dreaming and I'm trying to figure out where they're from, but... Hopefully that helps you a little yeah, bit. Yeah, I don't want to, uh, I'm sorry, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I'm just saying that um, I always get up and make sure I rebuke it and, you know, renounce it, denounce the dream. But um, I just want to really quick ask for prayer before we get off, if you don't mind, please. Yeah, absolutely. And what was your name again? My name is Keisha. Keisha, Father, I thank you so much for my sister, Lord. God, I just pray that in this journey she's on, Lord, with deliverance, with breakthrough, with healing, I pray, God, that you would just guide her and guard her. You'd protect her from the hand of the evil one. We thank you, Lord, that you put a hedge of protection around us, that there is just there's uh, protection in your presence and in your spirit. And Father, we just pray that you fill her with your Holy Spirit. I pray you'd use her, God, for great, great things. I pray if there's any demonic spirit or attacks that are coming in at night, we just cancel those strategies. We cancel those plans. Satan, you have no authority over her sleep. You have no power over her dreams. We come against you now in Jesus' name. And we just pray, Lord, give her sweet rest as your word declares that she would sleep well, that she would be rested, and that you would just bless her in her sleep, Lord. We pray your anointing over her. We pray spiritual gifts over her. We pray the power of the Holy Spirit be with her. In Jesus' name, amen. In Jesus' name, thank you. God bless you, sister. Hopefully, I'll be able to meet you at an event someday. Yes, yes. Awesome. God bless you. Have a great day. God bless you. Take care. Dreams, guys, are, are very tricky because...
I'm not quick to say like, oh, that was a dream from God. Oh, that was a dream from the enemy. Because when you have the human spirit component and people even prophesy out of their human spirit, people dream obviously out of their human spirit. It's it's not always, it's, it is spiritual, but it's not always like God or the devil. Dreams are also just part of life. So it could get tricky. I, I Again, I'm not sitting here doing these dream interpretation streams. I would tell you, you need to pray about it. You need to ask the Lord. I can't really tell you what the Lord's saying to you or what dreams you're having, whether they're from God or the devil, that's something you have to pray through and you have to ask God and you have to use the word of God. And, um, you know, if you're having a recurring dream of something, what I do is I Google what scriptures talk about a river, right? If I'm dream dreaming that I'm at a river and I, it's over and over again, I'm looking up scriptures that have to do with the river. I'm looking to the word of God to see if God's showing me a scripture or teaching me something. So yeah, that's what I would recommend. But I have videos on dreams. I have like dream interpretation videos to, that will help you a little bit. But at the same time, um, I can't tell you necessarily who's giving you what dream.